हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ बिन बैच फ्रॉम बी टूवी क्लासेस टूडे वी विल कवर ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल फॉर टी वाई बी एस सी आई टी ड्यूटीज ऑफ सिस्टम एडमिन राइट सो आई जम्प टू दैट पार्ट डायरेक्टली दिस इज द क्वेश्चन विच कम्स इन यूर एग्जाम मेनी टाइम्स एंड इट्स रिपीटेड सो आई थॉट ऑफ कवरिंग दिस सो इट विल एक्ट एज ए रिविजन फॉर यू गाइज so uh, system admin means uh, administrator uh, which has an uh, root user access you can say the super user account password or access any account so that uh, he can manage the machine uh, linux machine uh, as the way it should be so this is the part you can read right the root user account is the super user account in the linux os and these are the duties which linux admin must do right first one install installing and configuring servers in this part uh, i'll explain practically what happens uh, in this part uh, server uh, like nfs server samba server ftp server this type of configuration or installation comes under this part uh, suppose there is a linux machine and uh, user there are many users into it right and uh, some user wants a ftp server which is not there currently so Uh, that user can put a request to the linux admin then linux admin can install that server on that linux machine so that a, a particular user can access uh linux admin can give that server access to particular user all or to all user depending uh, upon the requirement right but if a server is installed it is uh, at server level not user level okay so this this first point installing and configuring servers Come, uh, comes uh, under the part which linux admin only can do right uh, normal user cannot do this thing because uh, for installing any uh, servers uh, we need to install the rpm packages for that uh, like if you want to install nfs server so first you need to install the nfs packages through rpm or through em anyhow you can do it so this is what which needs the root access so that linux admin can only do it post installation you need to configure the configuration files like we do in normal configuration uh, which are placed under etc folder for samba server or nfs server there are some configurations we need which we need to modify or configure according to our needs okay so this part is like uh, to have servers okay first point second point installing and configuring application software c server and application software uh, these two are somewhat similar but different because in software suppose i am a user uh, into a particular linux machine and uh, uh, i want a particular game to be installed okay so i will request a linux admin to do it or i can do it myself okay i can go to google i can download the rpm package i can uh, install it but it will available to me only not to all users okay so if a application is to be used by a particular user he can download and he can do it by himself or herself but if a application is to be used by whole or like all of the users in together or in groups then that is to be done by linux admin so what linux admin will do uh, admin can create a group named as tyt or vdv classes and then uh, users can be added into that group and the permission can be assigned for a particular game or a particular application for that uh, v2v it or tv by bsi it or v2v group in that way but if the usage is for more than one user then it is to be done by linux admin again and if it is for only one user then uh, normal user can do it so this is the difference between the server part and application software part okay third creating and maintaining user accounts this is very simple suppose uh, there is a new user who came in so linux admin will create user by using the user add command i'll show you okay i'll do this later huh. i'll become root first suppose there is an uh, username as roy so ah uh, this is the way i added okay post adding the user uh, don't forget to assign password to a user what will be the command for assigning a password ps wd roy 
okay i'll set the password as the name okay password is assigned uh, how will you make sure like if user is added or not there's a file it is a password you can check it out if that user is added in, into it or not okay it's added means the user is created you can log in as well Rohit you can check who am I I'm Rohit now I'll come back to my user again pin bash oh okay I'm here I'll clear clear the screen currently I'm in mesh okay coming back to our topic this is the way you can create user or delete user for deleting a user there's a command user del u s e r d e l okay and uh, sometimes there are scenarios like some user's password is locked so uh, admin can unlock it uh, or can change it or can do like uh, what the user wants so this comes under creating and maintaining user accounts okay The fourth point backing up and restoring it is divided into two parts and both will be done by admin only backing up means <coughs> uh, it's the duty of Linux admin to back up everything which is in that machine so uh, backup can be done on tapes or on that same machine or on different machine or on a network and it will be mostly into tar files which will be in zip format uh, to create a tar file we need to use the tar command I'll show that too okay I'll see there's no folder I'll create one folder for you okay, there. test okay I'll go into that folder I'll create blank files okay I'll create it two blank files in a folder named as test Okay, suppose I want to take backup of this folder using tar command. What will be the command? tar hyphen cvzf <coughs> test. Start tar. <coughs> you can see this tar file is created. <coughs> it has all the <coughs> for files in it uh, which is in, which we created in this test folder you can now take this file anywhere you want in uh, in a network or in your hard disk or into different machine through FTP through SSH or anyhow you want then these files will be backed up and suppose this folder I'll remove this folder okay is deleted somehow or crashed somehow and you want to recover your files then in this case Linux admin can use this star file uh, get it back through network through hard disk or through tape wherever you have kept and then you can extract it tar iPhone x for extract for verbos f for forcefully hyphen x these are arguments for the tar command okay as you can see our test folder is back so in this way the backing up and restoring works and this can be done by user as well as admin okay but uh, the whole file system of the machine is to be taken care by Linux admin so this comes under admin only backing up and restoring files fifth one monitoring and tuning performance okay what do you mean by monitoring monitoring means to monitor the Linux machine okay so there are many ways uh, Linux machine should be monitored first of all the file system uh, this is the command df disk file system uh, with the help of this command linux admin will be checking uh, the amount of space the file system the files are using so you can see my slash main mount point is 14 percent so it's good and when it reaches above 80 or 90 percent then i will check uh, how or uh, like which user which file is occupying the more space and i'll the admin uh, not i admin should act accordingly and admin should keep a watch on these mount points if the mount points are full and above like 100% or reaches 100% then the there's an issue right uh, the new files will not be created application will be like disturbed so this uh, needs to be taken care uh, 